Hi, I'm Mr. Internet. And I'm the Gargoyle. And if you don't like Big Red... And BTY Colby Godwin... Then fuck, fuck you. Shake and bake. I'm the Dominator, leader of the pack. Two tons of steel is hanging from my sack. I take the cake and then I take it back and attack. Yeah, because you back, Jack. I'm the Dominator, moving right along. Don't really give a fuck about the right or wrong. You only cop it right, I write the song. It's a world full of jealousy and hate That's why some died all the others turn out late But I eviscerate those who hesitate Say you ain't they masturbate while I run the master race I'm the dominator, got to be the best I've got an ass tattooed upon my chest You cannot touch me, I'm millionaires Oh yes, you must confess this I'm the dominator I'm the dominator the Dominator! I'm the Dominator, leader of the pack Two tons of steel is hanging from my sack I take the cake and then I take it back and attack Yeah, because you back, Jack! I'm the Dominator, moving right along Don't really give a fuck about the right or wrong You only cop it right, I write the song It's a world full of jealousy and hate That's why some died all the others turn out late But I eviscerate those who hesitate Say you ain't they masturbate while I run the master race I'm the dominator, got to be the best I've got an ass tattooed upon my chest You cannot touch me, I'm millionaires Oh yes, you must confess this I'm the dominator I'm the dominator the Dominator! I'm the Dominator, leader of the pack Two tons of steel is hanging from my sack I take the cake and then I take it back and attack Yeah, because you back, Jack! I'm the Dominator, moving right along Don't really give a fuck about the right or wrong You only cop it right, I write the song It's a world full of jealousy and hate That's why some died and all the others turn out late But I eviscerate those who hesitate Say you ain't they masturbate while I run the master race I'm the dominator, got to be the best I've got an ass tattooed upon my chest You cannot touch me, I'm millionaires Oh yes, you must confess this I'm the dominator I'm the dominator Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning, somewhere in the 24 hours of the time zone around the world. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Front Row Fanatics. I'm the Gargoyle. Internet. And tonight we are going to be reviewing Ultimate Wrestling's last show, which was, I don't know because I'm drinking the new strange <laughs> beer that's fogged my mind, so help me out, Internet. Out of control. Out of control. That took place in Pensacola, Florida last Saturday at American Legion Post 33. So, with that being said, I'm going to turn it over once again to the brains of the operation here, Mr. Internet. That's not saying much. <laughs> but it, anyway, uh, it was a great night for wrestling. I was in a great mood. But, uh, on the flip side, this was Colby, Colby Godwin's last appearance on the Gulf Coast. So, you know, it was a, you know, kind of a sad occasion, but some great matches. And starting it out, we had the former uh, two-time Ultimate Wrestling Cruiserweight champ, the Bruiserweight Maze, taking on the party gras, Justin Stone. And this match came about because in one of Ultimate Wrestling's previous shows, the Bruiserweight choked out Marty, uh, party gras, Justin Stone, with his own beads. And there's been a lot of speculation about the uh, the loaded knee pad of Maze. Right. I wonder what kind of beads those were he used to choke him out. Were some, they're from uh, Bourbon Street. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> So anyway, uh, at the beginning of the match, I could have swore I saw Maze put something under the ring apron there. I couldn't very, you know, from my vantage point, you know, couldn't really tell. But nonetheless, the match got underway. Uh, Party Gras was watching that knee the whole match. 
uh, towards the later stages, he threw Mays outside the ring where I swear I saw him stick something in the knee pad. I did see N Mays load that knee pad. Uh, he came in, uh, gave the bruise your face to Justin Stone, one, two, three. He went out of the ring. It looked like he shoved it back up under the ring apron. I couldn't tell. But uh, your winner of your match was the Bruiserweight Mays, and I don't think this is over by a long shot. Oh, no, and Mays talking all that smack to the party gras Justin Stone, blah, blah, blah. And if anybody witnessed the Bourbon Street brawl between Party Gras, Justin Stone, and Mr. Marcus, Mr. Marcus Gibbs. Gibbs, Mays, you're in for one rough bout with Party Gras. You know, people look at Justin Stone and they say, you know, he's a party, he's a fun guy, he's great with the fans, but Justin Stone will get medieval on you. He will take you to a dark place. He'll take you to Bourbon Street. He has a mean streak, and plus he has a badass chop, too, and I can tell because I've received it, and he can chop the shit out of you. But, you know, as much as I hate to do it, i got to give Mays credit. He's a wily veteran, one of the sweetest drop kicks, plus the bruise your face. But I just think if, if, if they sanction a match, like like the uh, Bourbon Street Brawl, Mays is in trouble. Yes, That's he is. Will he will get a little people beat down like you <laughs> won't believe. Oh, man. Uh, what are we, how are we doing? I know this is a short segment. Okay, our next match... Uh, was Mr. Electricity, Jerry Reiner, taking on one half of the Ultimate Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Mr. USA, T.A. Jones. Uh, as most people set, you know, have seen, Jerry Reiner is on a bit of a losing streak. Uh, he was hoping to turn it around, taking on a very able competitor in uh, T.A. Jones. Uh, about halfway through the match, things not going Jerry Reiner's way. Uh, Jerry Reiner showed his uh, frustration by use, using some tactics we haven't seen him use for a while, you know, kind of bending the rules. A little and, bit of underhandedness there. Right, and... Uh, T.A. Jones ended up getting the win on him, and uh, to much to the chagrin of Jerry Reiner, and you could just see the frustration on his face. And a lot of the fans too were disappointed that Jerry didn't get the uh, didn't get the win. Yeah. But uh, you know, I believe Jerry will come around. Like you know, there's been some discussions on the message boards about him suffering from the transition from tag team wrestling to as a single competitor. You know, uh, I believe with Jerry's experience and abilities that you know he will. You know, he might suffer this little Mike the California slump. hippie boyette slump and all that, but he'll come around being the seasoned professional that he is, and he'll be back, you know, right. leading up as a, uh, blah, 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 what's the word, a contender for uh, either X-Factor, heavyweight belt, or whatever, so. All right, well, I think we need to take a break. Jerry, 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 <laughs> we still believe, brother. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more results. <laughs> 